So the wolf we're picking up is a, is a female wolf of the Chagrin River Pack. Federal biologist Mike Jimenez manages wild wolves in Wyoming. A wolf pack has set up a den right on the edge of his turf. Right now, we're right along the border between Wyoming and Idaho. Behind us would be Wyoming, down in the lower valley would be Idaho. The pack is also right on the edge of what Jimenez calls suitable habitat. To the east is open land full of wild game, but to the west sits a checkerboard of ranch homes with cattle, pets, and people. This is kind of the margin of where these wolves expand. Once they get outside of this area, it becomes very tough for wolves to not bump into people. It's up to Jimenez to respond when wolves prey on cattle, horses, and dogs. He tries to act fast before wolves wear out their welcome. More than 1,500 wolves now roam the Rocky Mountain states of Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. A big success for a species once eliminated here. To bring wolves back, the federal government transplanted a number of them here from Canada in the 1990s. And despite their recovery, wolves are still federally protected in Wyoming. Washington won't give management control to the state because Wyoming wants to create a predator zone covering more than 80% of its territory where wolves could be killed at any time by any means and without limit. That's why Jimenez is monitoring this wolf pack, which falls under federal management in Wyoming, but state control in Idaho. And why conservationists are fighting a federal decision to hand wolf control to Idaho and Montana. They say more protections need to be in place to ensure Rocky Mountain wolves remain connected across all three states. But that is so critical to connect these populations so they don't become isolated, we don't suffer from inbreeding, and if studies have shown that that is a real, real problem. But ranchers in Wyoming say federal protection for wolves has now gone too far. We didn't start with endangered wolves. We started with a pilot project to bring wolves in that were not deemed essential. For now, Jimenez is caught in the middle. He's concerned about this pack, after finding cattle hair in some scat. While some wolves coexist fine with cattle, the future for this pack remains uncertain. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.